welcome back, heroes, to some more Don't Stop. So last I left off, I was gathering some grass, um, because I need ropes so that I can make tanning things, so I can actually hang up these um, monster meats so that they don't spoil immediately. Because they are going to become important ingredients for my ability to survive. Especially if I can manage to get a birdcage. And that would become very, very important. Ooh, hello, spiders. You have resurrected, I see. What do you want? Ah, oh, more monster meats. Unfortunately, it adds onto the spoiled pile. Would you drop your... Ah, they don't drop any skulls. It's like supposed to be a 40% chance or something. Or maybe I'm incorrect. I don't know. Whatevers. I'll just leave that piece of grass. I don't need it. I don't need it. Watch me require one. <laughs> Oh, and we also need to plant our berry bushes as well. We would, uh, I would prefer not to put it next to my campfire in case I'm attacked at night by some dirty, dirty dogs. Alright, gather you and you. And actually, fighting those spiders helped boost my sanity a bit. So that was not, not a bad, not a bad trait, not a bad trait. We also got more poops for the fire because they're awesome for kindling fire, actually. Uh, they last all night and they're free because they're just on the ground by beefaloes. So, you know, beefalo. And actually, I just thought of an interesting idea for killing off beefaloes to try to get a beefalo horn. Especially if they get um, out of control and whatnot. So, what I was thinking was essentially what I could do is I can use all those tooths I got to make some hound traps. And then I can set them up around the beefaloes and keep resetting them and essentially hope one of the beefaloes kills himself on the trap. Or at the very least, weaken one of them enough so that I can do one swipe and uh, steal his stuff and run away before the others try to kill me. They're all options, you know? Uh, what's... I'm carrying all I can. Apparently it got tripped. Alright, okay, so let's put some poop on the fire. I cook my food on that poop. <laughs> uh, Alright. Get some rope together. Need lots of it. Lots and lots of rope. So we can make plenty of tanning racks. Okay, that can make three. That can, or that can make three. Or four. I don't know. Was it two? I don't remember my memory. It fails me. Um, well, let's just take a look. It is three. Okay, well, let's just go ahead and start planting them up. Tanning rack. Is that light? No, that light is not big enough. Okay, more poop! We need more poop! Ah, it's not big enough yet. <sighs> okay, let's refine a log then. We need really big fire. Really big fire. There we go. Now we can go on the edge. Food, tanning rack. Um, you, you don't want to go there. Uh, okay. Uh, let's rotate this way. We'll just put them here. And we can't make any more because we need sticks now. It's always one thing or the other. Now, do you have my sticks, Chester? No, you do not. Right, well, let's go ahead and start hanging up some of these uh, meats to dry. Because that way they will last us a while. It's the main reason why you have drying racks. To preserve your meats. We got more monster lasagna. Yay. Can, can, you, can you tell my enthused... Uh, <laughs> voice there. Yay! Monster lasagna. <sighs> okay. Well, we need sticks. This is not going to suffice for twigs. <sighs> okay. We got plenty of rope and plenty of charcoal, but we don't have enough sticks. Although, I think before I leave, I should plant up the berry bushes and get them growing. Because they are still more filler and, you know, they're useful. 
Oop. Um. Hmm. Though I feel like that rotten, that meat's gonna become rotten meat. <sighs> oh, I'm hungry. Oh well, down the hatch. And I'm getting insane. <laughs> Oh, well, that's not going to be good. Um, we'll just make more monster lasagna. More monster lasagna. All right, I need to go kill some frogs. I need to feel good about myself, so it's time to murder helpless animals. <laughs> what kind of character am I playing? But that is, that is a method that you can do, is just go about, kill a bunch of things, eat a monster with a lasagna. So it's not too terrible of a food. And also with the, the frogs around, I don't think they give us minus. Right. How are their butts? Their butts are not red, so they're not in heat. So I can collect their poops. Thank you. Just wanted your poop. Do, do, do. So I do believe that uh, each individual monster themselves gives a different value of sanity and health. So I think the more powerful the monster, the more sanity you gain by slaying it. I could be wrong on this. And where are the... Where are the frogs? Hello? Froggies? There are no froggies. Oh well, uh, when I start going too insane, I can, um, I guess just kill the figments of my imagination to gain sanity. Oh yeah, I had meatballs. Ooh, did that just give me sanity? Does eating meat give me sanity? <laughs> ah, that is amazing. Hmm. Well... Ah, there's a frog. Hey, froggy! Time for you to die! No, don't steal my monster lasagna! Ow! Okay, come over here. Eh. 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 No. Die. Eh. Okay, we'll just take all the frogs, getting rid of all my charcoal. Stop it. <laughs> No! You can't have my charcoal! Oh, ow. Eh. I, now, I could probably have fought these guys a little better, but... Eh. Eh. <laughs> hmm. Well, with frog... I forgot I could get just frog legs, and then I could use it to um, create filler themselves. Hmm. Any more frogs up here? Oh, they're going back in their ponds. I'm hearing whispers. So, it would seem I did not recover my sanity as well as I'd hope. But then again, they're only frogs. So, they don't give you that much of a sanity boost. Hmm. I need to kill some bigger things. What I really need to find is I need to find one of those um, robot dogs because beyond just recovering some sanity, I could also, you know, like just get some gears and then I can make an ice box. And then I can keep my uh, food frozen, which would be nice. There's a lot of bones. I never could figure out if you could do anything with bones. Well, anyways, we got plenty more drying racks, or ability to make more drying racks, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, to do drying rack, uh, food, drying rack, nope, hey, I clicked you! Don't give me a lip. There we go, and I do not have enough because I do not have enough sticks. Great! Okay, so let's get this food up and going. Oh, they're spoiled now. Okay, so the only good thing they're good for is becoming rot. It's unfortunate. But we could use the rest to actually make some good food as opposed to this icky lasagna. Oh, man, it's terrible. Terrible lasagna. Okay, cook some frog's legs up. 
And we also got some other stuff we can use for filler, which is nice. Oh, and we also, I think we can make some more healing salves as well. Uh, what's it take to make one of those? Oh, a lock suit. We should probably have one on hand. To come to think of it. Because, I mean, that'll just up our defenses all the more. <laughs> Uh, and also come to think of it, I should probably make another helmet. Uh, and we'll drop the other one down around here somewhere. Drop. That way I have more that I can come back to. Alright, grab up the meatballs. Shove some down my throat. And we'll harvest up some stuff and stuff them in the crock pot. Do, 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 do. Doop a doop do, 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 do. Oh, it's getting night. Ah! Wow, that is a pitiful fire. Get bigger. Ah, <sighs> well, it looks like I'm kind of on the edge of survival, but we're doing okay. The things could definitely be better, but uh, they could be worse. Definitely could be worse. We actually made it to day 16 as well. That's doing, that's, that's pretty good. Pretty good. I don't say so myself. Oh, one witch. I'm just going to uh, place you. And you, you. And you, okay and cook. So we almost got a handle on our meat situation. Unfortunately I think some of it's just gonna become more rot. Uh, but that's okay because we could use it for collecting berry bushes uh, which will allow us to make more filler for our meals uh, so we can have more things like meatballs because meatballs do give us a little bit of a sanity boost I noticed. So it's not a bad thing after all. Uh, we have a lot of silk as well. I'm just gonna put some in there. And I think before I leave, I'm gonna make a bug net. So that way, if it's like nighttime, we have some uh, fireflies. We can like set up camp nearby one and have lots of fireflies in jars. Uh, hmm. Okay, so these are going stale. I'm just gonna let this rot. Because there's nothing else I can really do about it. Can I... Okay, so here's the thing. These are all going stale and these are all done. So, what if I were to harvest these? And... Let's just drop these on the floor. Piece of crap meat anyway. <laughs> so what if I were to harvest these and then put these spoiled ones up? Maybe they'll uh, become, you know, not spoiled anymore. And those are cooked. Uh, I really need a bird. A bird would allow me to better use this um, situation. Eh. Uh, spoiled. Mm. Alright, put you in there. And then a the seed in here. Ah, oh, man, this game, there's always so much to do. <laughs> You're never without something. <laughs> All in the name of the struggle to survive. I might have to make it into monster lasagna. Because I don't have one more filler. Oh, here we go. Perfect! Thank you very much. And I just realized I do have one more filler over here. Um... If we collected some grass, I really want to murder that thing. <laughs> I might be able to even survive while I'm uh, completely insane as well. So that might not be too much of an issue. Uh, so much grass. I'm going to make another farm because we can never have enough farms. We need to plant our other berry bushes as well. Get a handle on our food situation and things will be dandy. Uh, Chester, where'd you go? Give me that last seat. Thank you. 
We plant it, and we're good. Now let's go ahead and grow some more berries, uh, berry bushes. You have the berry bushes, don't you? You're holding out on me, Chester? Huh? Eh? Eh. <laughs> okay, so that's all planted. And then we use you to fertilize. And there we go. We got our own three berry bushes. Now, sorry about all the rotation. It's, um, yeah, it's a bit all over the place. Okay, so I don't think there's much I can do about this food. I'm just going to have to store it, and when I come back, it'll be more um, fertilizer, essentially. Which I think I can use to also force my food to grow. So there you go. Another use of uh, monster meat. Make it fertilizer so you can make your food grow. Um, let's eat some of that. And we're going to actually head out this time. I have enough food to last me. Uh, I try to get a handle on that whole um, other food situation, but there's not much I can really do. It's all going to spoil. <sighs> I need I need a I need a cold box or an ice box, so I can actually keep my food fresh. Hmm. But I also need a, um, a bird, because one thing that you could do is you could even feed your bird spoiled meat, and it'll give you eggs. And you can cook your eggs up uh, with breakfast, or make some other good stuff. And it's also a good filler, you can make everything eggs and just cook it, and it's delicious. And you could also just use that as filler with the, um, the monster meat. So, I don't know if it makes meatballs, but it might. It's also a food that I believe Wigfried can actually just eat. So that's that's also good. Well, let's just go ahead and pick a flower, why not? Make ourselves a bit more sane. Uh well, I'm probably going to get rid of my poops. I don't need the poops per se right now. They are just dirtying up my hands. And I have to carry them around, and then whenever I go to sniff my finger, I think ew. Because it smells like poo. <laughs> hmm. Alright, so we'll just head as far this direction as we can. And then we'll continue on and hopefully we can get further and further and further. Where's my shovel? Oh, there it is. Dig you up. Oh, got the storm both in Chester. Jeez. All right, Chester, you are now head of the berries. <laughs> Chester, or Chomper the Chester, king of the berries. Why did I pick that up? Uh, where is my spear? It feels safer holding my spear. There is my spear, and we need twigs as well, because with twigs we can make more uh, drying racks. Though I think I'm going to have to settle down here. Which will be fine because I think overnight I'm going to dig up a lot of this junk so we can have it near our base. Uh, Chester. Uh, let's see here. You can hold on to the rot and I'll hold on to these. Oop. Whoops. Alright, we'll just dig that up. And actually with as much rot as we're going to have, we might as well just take some grass as well. Hey, it's that tooth that we had. Uh, Chester, you can hold on to the wood. Oop. Also, hold on to these fangs as well. Ah, we need to set up some traps around there. And also, we got that other type of fang. Not sure what to use it with. I might look it up on the internet. Or, uh, perusal some of the, um things I can look at in my inventory. Uh, can I just push... Oh, I don't have it on me. Oh. Eh. What was the button? I, for I forget. It oh yeah, it's control. So we can do... Oh! What did you just make? You made an axe. Gosh darn it, Wakefried! Don't just go and make random axes. 
Uh, okay, we'll keep that there. So we have it on hand. Well, we should probably keep it like there. Oh man, that has been an eventful playthrough. <laughs> Uh, but we'll continue more next time we play some more Don't Starve. So if you are enjoying this series so far, throw us a like. It always helps out a lot and lets me know that you guys are still interested. And also, if you guys are new to the channel and you'd like to see more things like this, leave us a sub and join the heroes. Anyways, guys, this is in session of Heroes and Fools, and I'll see you all next time. Take care and goodbye.